हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर किरण पोदार अंगड़ी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट बेलगावी इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सॉल्विंग अ लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ इनिशियल वैल्यूज बाय यूजिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म मेथड सो सॉल्व वाई ट्रिपल डैश प्लस टू वाई डैश वाई डबल डैश माइनस वाई डैश माइनस टू वाई इक्वल टू जीरो वेर y of 0 is equal to 0 and y dash of 0 is also equal to 0 and y double dash of 0 is equal to 6 by using Laplace transform method. In this case, we have to understand the given equation is of third order. Okay, so we need to go up till third order in this case. So very first what to do, write down the given equation in a proper way. Uh, given equation can be written as y triple dash of t plus 2 times y double dash of t minus y dash of t minus 2 times y of t equal to 0. Fine. Apply Laplace transform on both sides. Then it becomes a Laplace transformation of y triple dash of t plus 2 times Laplace transformation of y double dash of t minus Laplace transformation of y dash of t minus 2 times Laplace transformation of y of t is equal to Laplace transformation of 0. Fine. Then we can see here it is of third order. When it is of third order, the Laplace transformation of third order derivative will be, it will start from S cube. So, write S cube. S cube into Laplace transformation of the function y of t minus S cube is the, so it is S square. Then initial value y of 0, y of 0 minus, next S square, then S, then y dash of 0. After S, S raised to 0, that is nothing but 1, that is y double dash of 0 first then 2 times what will be Laplace transformation of y double dash of t second order so starts with s square s square Laplace transform of y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 okay similarly minus Laplace transformation of y dash of t single order derivative then it is it starts with s yes. so s yes into laplace transformation of y of t minus s raised to 0 into y of 0 minus 2 times laplace transformation of y of t will be written as it is and that is equal to 0 0 because laplace transformation of 0 is equal to 0 therefore by using the given conditions, what conditions are given? Here they said y of 0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 equal to 0, then y double dash of 0 equal to 6. Substitute this in equation number 1. Then this equation number 1 becomes, this equation number 1 becomes uh, s cube into Laplace transform of y of t y of t y of 0 but y of 0 is equal to 0 so it is 0 minus y dash of 0 that is also 0 so 0 minus y double dash of 0 that is 6 ok plus 2 times s square into Laplace transform of y of t minus 0 0 because y dash is y, y of 0 is 0 y dash of 0 is also 0 minus s into Laplace transform of y of t minus y of 0 is 0 then minus 2 times Laplace transform of y of t which is equal to 0 if you simplify simplify in the sense if you make Laplace transform of y of t common y of t common then what remains s cube okay s cube 
when L of y of t common if we take it it becomes 2 into s square so plus 2 s square then here minus s into this so minus s minus 2 then remaining is minus 6 is equal to 0 then very first 6 will be sent to the other end then Laplace transformation of y of t into s q plus 2 s square minus s minus 2. From here if we take s common then what, what we will be getting uh, s and if you make its factorization then uh, s square if it is been taken then inside the bracket it will be s plus 2. Here if you take minus common inside the bracket it will be s plus 2. So s plus 2 is one factor then remaining is s square minus 1 is other factor which will be equal to 6. Therefore, Laplace transformation of y of t is equal to 6 divided by s plus 2 into s square minus 1. Okay, s square minus 1 can also be taken as it is like a square minus b square. So, a plus b into a minus b. So, s minus 1 into s plus 1. Fine, I will be calling it as equation number 2. Then Laplace will be transferred to other end. Then it becomes y of t is equal to Laplace inverse of 6 divided by 6 divided by s plus 2 into s minus 1 into s plus 1. Okay, I will be taking this as equation number 2. Then after taking this result what to do we need to obtain laplace inverse of this bracket but here we can see this can be solved by partial fraction method when it can be solved by partial fraction method by partial fraction which is nothing but 6 divided by s plus 2 into s minus 1 into s plus 1 that will be equal to a divided by s plus 2 plus b divided by s minus 1 plus c divided by s plus 1. Fine. Then multiply whole equation by denominator of its LHS. Then it becomes 6 is equal to. If it has been multiplied with this whole thing, s plus 2 get cancelled. Then what remains? s minus 1, s plus 1 into a a plus if s minus 1 get cancelled then it is s plus 2 into s plus 1 into b plus if s plus 1 get cancelled then it is s plus 2 into s minus 1 into c fine then if you put s is equal to minus 2 s is equal to minus 1 then s is equal to plus 1. Then let us see what happens. If you put s is equal to minus 2, then this, this is 0, this is 0. Then 6 is equal to minus 2 minus 1 will be minus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1 into a. Therefore, a is equal to 2. Similarly, if you put s is equal to minus 1, this term will be 0, this term will be 0. Then will be getting other term c that is 6 is equal to uh, c into 1 into minus 2 therefore c is equal to minus 3 fine then if you put s is equal to 1 if you put s is equal to 1 then it will be equal to uh, 6 is equal to if you put s is equal to plus 1 this is 0 this is 0 then b will be there that is b into 3 into 2 therefore b is equal to 1 so we got the value of a b c these values to be added in equation number 2 these values to be added in equation number 2 therefore it becomes y of t is equal to laplace inverse of Laplace inverse of 6 divided by this that is nothing but a a is equal to 2 therefore 2 divided by 
s plus 2 b is equal to 1 therefore 1 divided by s minus 1 where c is equal to minus 3 so minus 3 divided by s plus 1 fine then what to do then we need to obtain its inverse laplace transformation what is its inverse laplace transformation so laplace y of t is equal to this is nothing but laplace transformation of 2 will be taken 1 divided by s plus 2 plus inverse laplace transformation of 1 divided by s minus 1 minus 3 into laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus 1 therefore y of t is equal to 2 into what is inverse laplace transformation of 1 divided by s plus 2 that is e raised to s plus 2 means e raised to minus 2t plus laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 1 s minus 1 means e raised to plus 1 into t minus 3 into laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus 1 s plus 1 means e raised to